All right, guys, as you've seen in my other video uh, that I put a link to, uh, we got a fire started. You know what the basic ways of doing it. There's other ways to start a fire. So I'm going to go over some basic fire starters that I use. All right. First basic fire starter that I use is typical lint. Lint from, you know, you take this lint from your dryer. And this lint from your dryer is really, really flammable. Okay, it will catch a spark in a heartbeat, okay? I'll show you uh, how flammable it is. We'll take a piece of lint here, okay? And we'll just kind of light it up. And that's, that's flammable, okay? That is really, really flammable. I mean, it is, you use some of this stuff, you're starting to fire easy, okay? And most people use matches. <coughs> matches are a good way to start a fire. You have matches, wooden matches, and the wooden matches are like your tinder. You now you strike that. There you go. Really good thing to use. Uh, I always keep matches in my pack. Obviously a big lighter. You always want to carry a big lighter. They're cheap. They just always work. Okay. Now. If you're into matches, this right here is called the UCO. Alrighty. And what it has in here, it's waterproof. It has some lint, okay, an extra striker. And these matches in here are like a sparkler. So it stays waterproof number one. But when you strike it, it's like like a sparkler. See how it stays lit? It's really heavily lit. And it stays going really good fire starter. Really good. Really good. These things right here were these things right here were kind of cheap. Uh, you could pretty much buy them anywhere. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to this kit, this waterproof kit. Okay. And I had a regular flint and steel that I got from like Walmart. I'll put a link to this in the bottom. Uh, it's just a, it has a, a knife sharpener on it, okay, and it has pretty much your flint and steel, so you can get your spark. Yeah. All right, so that that works really good, but I'm gonna be honest, the best, the best best fire starter on the market is the Exotech fire rod, okay. The Exotech fire rod is a fire rod, okay, and in the top you unscrew it and it holds some fire starter, like a lint, very good to hold, or you could put some tinder in there. The striker is really good, the striker is also replaceable, and the striker comes off as you can see right here, okay. And I mean, this thing puts out a massive, massive spark. This has the Exotech has to be the number one best fire starter that you can buy, hands down. Uh, this thing throws a massive, massive spark. I really like the Exotech. This thing is the best. There's a link to a description in the description to the Exotech fire starter. This is like the best one on the market. I'll have a link in the description to this Exotech fire starter. Um, it throws an amazing spark. I mean. Look at that, it's crazy. So this right here is probably the best you're gonna get for a fire starter, I'll be honest, okay? It's called the Exotac, and I am going to put a link in the bottom to it. Also, the actual striker is replaceable. So you could buy one of those. I'll have a link to this in the bottom. I'll have a link to this in the bottom. These are really good fire starters. So just remember, you have, you always want to carry a Bic lighter, all right? Bic lighter all the time. You got your Bic lighter. And your Bic lighter, you always want to carry some lint and a Ziploc bag. Great fire starter. And also you want to carry your duct tape. Your duct tape makes an amazing, amazing fire starter. Okay, always remember that. All right, take some duct tape, 
All right, take the duct tape, stretch out about the size of your arm. Take the duct tape, okay? You roll the duct tape up, okay? And get that duct tape rolled up real nice, okay? Roll it up into pieces like this. All right, you got one. We're gonna do three of these. All right. These right here are amazing fire starters, okay? So you got these in your pack, right? Now what you want to do first, you want to take them and you want to align them in a certain way. So I'm going to get the camera down on the actual pit right now and show you guys how to start that fire. Give it a good light. All right. That one going. You're gonna want your, set, your second one. I'm telling you, duct tape. Duct tape is the way to go for a fire starter. All right. I'm gonna put it like that in a triangle. I'm gonna grab a third one. got your fire starter on it and you got the cheap Walmart flint and steel which it, it, it'll work then you have the Exotac which is one of the best fire starters I think that you can buy on the market right now um, I will have a link in the description to all these things sitting here smoking a cigar enjoying my coffee If it's your first time here viewing, remember to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. I will put up some more videos. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for coming, hanging out at the Beagler Homestead. Sitting out here enjoying the rest of this fire. I hope this little series of fire starters and building a campfire helped you guys have a nice fire for your next camping trip, hunting trip, whatever you're going to do. So once again, thanks for watching. Beagle Outdoors, out.